Hi, I'm Scott Hartman, and I help lead the video team here at Jackson Spalding. And I also help on the coaching team, where we try to help people in public speaking and being on camera. Speaking of being on camera, we are all getting a dose of that with the new reality of social distancing and working from home. One thing we are all experiencing is a new wave of video conferencing, sometimes even media interviews by video conference. So I just wanted to share some tips with you in my video conference box here, uh, things you can do better that may help your uh, performance on a video conference meeting or media interview. First, be sure your internet connection is strong and secure. Whenever possible, try to use a hardwired internet connection. Wi-Fi has come a long way, but it can still drop out right when you're making your main point in a meeting or an interview. If you must use a wireless connection, please make sure you're in an area with a robust and reliable Wi-Fi signal. We all know those spots in our house where our Wi-Fi is not super strong. The other thing I want you to think about is place a laptop, place your laptop on a platform so the webcam is approximately eye level. This will make things look much more buttoned up and prevent you from having that hunched over your laptop look that we see very often. Dress like you're gonna be on TV. You may be working at home, but you don't necessarily have to look like it. Dress professionally in solid colors. They always are gonna translate best on screen, but um, slippers are allowed on your feet, yeah. Watch your body language. You wanna sit up straight and try to look into that camera as much as you can. If there's a username on your video conferencing system, make sure it's your full name and not anything cute or catchy or with weird punctuation. Same goes for your profile picture. Try to make sure it's a nice looking professional one and not just a selfie you took at the last minute. Log on in advance and make sure your audio and video are working. Please don't wait until it's go time to work out the bugs. That never really quite works and there's plenty of time to get ready ahead of time. Try to conduct your interview in a room with strong ambient lighting. These webcams do not work well in low light and a room with large light sources will go a long way towards producing a really nice usable image. In fact, if you can position yourself with a window in front of you, it can project very nice natural lighting onto the room and on your face. In fact, the room I'm in right now, I have a window in front of me. I even have some lamps off to the side, but I'm making sure there are no bright lights directly behind me. Speaking of which, check your background. A solid colored wall with some tasteful artwork behind you is best, but be sure there's nothing in the background, like maybe a family photo that you might not want to be seen either during an interview or during a meeting. When it comes to sound, be careful not to answer too quickly and step on uh, the person you're talking to or the interviewer. That always leads to those awkward moments of bad sound where one person can't figure out who's talking and the video conference software can't tell who the primary speaker should be. So be patient and take turns speaking. And also speaking of sound, I'm a big fan of using either a Bluetooth headset, both as your microphone and your audio, or even sort of a plain old set of uh, earbuds, like the kind that come with your phone probably. Using these will go a long way towards minimizing feedback noises and also giving you a dedicated microphone to use for your voice. Close all other programs on your computer. You don't want a meeting reminder or a chat popping up in the middle of your interview. That's, that's always a bummer, right? Shut your office door. Make sure no one interrupts you during the interview. We all remember this guy, right? <laughs> and also don't forget to silence your cell phone. It's an easy thing to forget, but it can definitely interrupt your meeting. And as for after that, practice. Be sure you have your messaging down or your notes ready uh, for what you wanna talk about and so you can get all these other things taken care of and make sure that you have a successful video conference or media interview all via your webcam. I hope you found this helpful. Good luck out there and we'll see you on the web.